Unsolicited advice. All right, so if you uh, follow Dignation, you, you shouldn't. It's really, I'm saying if you don't follow it, you should. If you do follow it, carry on, is what I'm saying. It's a really cool uh, tech web podcast out there. Alex Albrecht, uh, who is from Dignation, tweeted this the other day. He tweeted, how much is too much coffee? Is there like a chart or something that I should be looking at? Now, it's a great, it's a great question, Alex. Personally, I don't drink coffee, because uh, me on coffee would be in jail. So, to advise you, I'm already just at the edge. Uh, to help you, we decided to put the question to a professional sports expert, somebody who knows a lot about sports, but he's also an amateur caffeine expert. Jay on right, will you start the show? Alex, there isn't a chart that tells you how much coffee to consume, so I took the liberty of making one for you. Two to three cups per day, this is a perfectly normal amount of coffee. And as an added bonus, you're probably sleeping through the night. If you're not sleeping through the night, don't blame the coffee, blame your guilty conscience. Four to six cups per day, this is starting to push it. If you plan on drinking six cups of coffee a day, make sure you space them out. Drinking six espresso shots in one gulp, that's a terrible idea. Seven to 12 cups a day, well at this level, loud noises will startle you. And the amount you spend at Starbucks will startle your accountant. 13 to 25 cups per day, you're no stranger to sweating profusely. Your heart frequently palpitates. Your insomnia is laced with paranoia. You own two dozen travel mugs. Get help, 26 plus cups per day. If you're consuming at this rate, keep track of all the bathrooms in the building. You're going to need them, possibly for throwing up, but most likely for violent, violent diarrhea that you will inevitably experience. George, here in this makeshift crappy studio, I'm visitor number 3-745201. Back to you and your skull rings.